Good afternoon guys. Good afternoon everyone. Since today is another slow day at home, I thought I'll get my mum into this vlog and we'll sit and talk about something we have been promising for a couple months now which is pressure cookers. Mum, show them what you have. <laughs> I have the Hawkins which range was it? This is Contura. Okay, Hawkins Contura. Um, I only bought this <laughs> some months ago. It's so cute, right? I mean, like, I I really liked how the yellow enamel and all that. And this this isn't an ad. <laughs> it's just that uh, I bought this pressure cooker. I liked it, and I showed it to you guys in a vlog. And I said, like, let's talk about pressure cooker sometime. You guys seem to like it. That's why we're following up. And this is not like a serious cooking video, but my mother will try to impart some pressure cooker knowledge. I also have a pressure cooker with me today. Let me show it to you guys. It's an actual Hawkins uh, 5 litre pressure cooker and here it is. <laughs> I was not kidding about the actual Hawkins part though. This is, um, this is a miniature made by Hawkins and uh, this is a new piece but I owned one of these when I was um, really young. I was, I must have been like uh, six, seven years old when I had my first one. And uh, how did I get that first one mum? Uh, we had gone to the Hawkins outlet at Mahim and uh, I was, I'm not sure, buying or uh, repairing my pressure cooker and Magali was with me as usual. So she saw it and she started saying that she wanted it. So I bought it for her. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was really cute because, I mean, it is a miniature. It is a toy. You cannot cook on it. Please don't try cooking on it. But it's an actual miniature, the box and the inside pressure cooker of their basic, like, 5-litre model. Uh, it's actually written somewhere here, yeah. It says 5-litre here. That is what it says. So let us open the box and we'll talk about pressure cookers. Ah, looks so, so cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this isn't the most adorable thing. I forgot how it really looked. No, I mean, like, you can see how it looked here. I know, I know. But really look, not a picture. I probably have my original one. I didn't get rid of it, but it's in the box with my Barbies and... And <laughs> where are the Barbies? Yeah, that's the big question. Where are the Barbies? They're somewhere. They're somewhere in this house. It's not a big house. It so this is in this house somewhere. But additional story to share with you guys about the miniature pressure cooker. Wait, is this focusing? Okay. Here it is. Um I think we were in we were in first standard. Third. Second? Third, third. No, not third. Second, Miss Greta's class. Second, okay. second. We were in second standard, and uh, as part of our school lesson, uh, I don't remember in which subject we were literally learning the basics of a pressure cooker. The Most parts probably will be science. Um, science, yeah. Uh? yeah. Then both. I, I have no idea yeah like it, it feels very random but also then it feels like okay everyone should know this information and I told my mom we were learning the basics of our pressure cooker and uh, she told me you have this toy like it's a model it's a miniature why don't you take it to school and show it to your teacher but I was such a I won't say I was a nerd then but I was someone at that age at least who like totally 100% played by the rules so I was really uh, scared at the potential I thought I'd get in trouble by taking this pressure cooker to school mom was like no go ahead take it and not only did my teacher really love it and she used it as a teaching aid for class but she asked me to bring it back like the next day and then uh, like she made the other two division like she gave it to the divisions uh, they are teachers and they also used it as a teaching aid so it ended up being something nice for me and uh, Yeah, one should take risks, but later in high school. I had no problem taking risks <laughs> You took a stethoscope also no to school. Yeah, I did take a stethoscope to school you guys We were learning about uh, what a stethoscope is and mum had beat had beat right? yeah, listening to the heartbeat. and uh, mum being um, a nurse obviously had one so I took that to school also. I took a lot of uh, good stuff to school <laughs> that was relevant. So now let's actually go with the parts of a pressure cooker. This is the miniature of what a simple basic model would look like. And this is all that pressure cookers look like, right? For a long time before they started making them look a bit fancy. Yes, correct. And what can you cook in a pressure cooker, Ma? 
mostly everything like uh, mostly something that is stuff to cook on uh, in a utensil and then you end up saving uh, time and energy as in gas when you cook in a pressure cooker so it's like really eco-friendly and makes things quicker and you use it for what like you use it mainly for pulao uh, yeah for uh, meat, meat. Yeah. dal Raj, rajma yeah rajma needs a pressure cooker you guys if you try to make it in like a regular you tend to it will take like forever right yeah, at least two hours i pressure cook it for 45 minutes yeah so it's really cool but i must admit a pressure cooker is kind of intimidating to me because it it traps a lot of steam inside right that's why it it's called it you have to be very careful yeah uh, like it gets very hot so don't uh, like by mistake also touch it to your body you got it, a little burn right i got burn twice thrice in my lifetime <laughs> some big burn <laughs> so don't touch it to your body keep it far away and uh, always check that the vent weight is working well there's a safety valve this is the thing that releases the steam right um, yeah. when the steam builds up too much inside you'll hear this thing kind of lift up it can be taken out so you should take it out sometimes and wash it well you don't need to take it out every time i don't know what the instructions say i don't take it out every time but i take it out sometimes and uh, wash it and dust it so that no water is trapped and then you put it on the lid unfortunately on my miniature the vent weight is fixed so it does not come apart but my mom gave a good explanation and she actually explained all these things to me when i was young because i feel it was really important also uh, tell them about the safety valve please before yeah. you go. yeah the safety valve is here inside in case there is too much of steam and in, instead of the pressure cooker exploding the safety valve pops and the steam exits the utensil that is in case like the vent weight gets jammed or jammed something or there is some problem it mostly happens with dals and uh, we did not know that uh, my mummy used to always make dal without uh, making a tadka onion tadka yeah yeah onion tomato tadka but if you do the onion tomato tadka there's no need to be worried but if you just put plain dals to cook it tends to oh pop cover, yeah cover the uh, covers this okay. over there then uh, it tends to cover the outlet and then uh, this pops because uh, there's too much of steam inside the vessel so have it has pop. it ever popped with you yeah once only once mm -hmm. with dal mm -hmm. so dal is the culprit here <laughs> that's what i know i'm telling you my experiences but it's really good that's a safety feature built in because as my mom said like you know you're cooking under high pressure there it's a little bit more risky than cooking in a normal chatty uh, so things can go wrong it can literally like burst on you so that's a cool safety feature built in mm -hmm. and there are different sizes of pressure cookers i think the smallest is 2 this is a 3 3 yeah yeah i have a 5 for bigger amounts uh, the mine is a futura hawkins futura that's even more fancy and futuristic looking than this but that's black so i found that boring i was like i want some color let me get this bright bright yellow one <laughs> okay so now we'll open the pressure cooker i i'll admit i don't know how to cook on a pressure cooker like i know generally how to cook a little bit but pressure cooker is a little intimidating and then also you know you can't actually you can't check the food while it's cooking right no you have to wait for all the steam to exit the pressure cooker to or if you are in a hurry you can pull this vent weight up with a you can use either a fork or a knife or a spoon pull it up and uh, let the steam leave the utensil and then you can open it so i'm opening mine with yeah yeah Yeah, so cute. Also, what about the gasket? Why is the gasket there? Just to make the seal, right? Yeah. The gasket is this black rubber thing, rubber thing that goes around the lid that uh, seals the heat inside. In case the gasket is loose, then it will not seal and uh, it will not start whistling or anything. So you have to check on that. Once you put the ingredients that you want to cook. So uh, you should always check that uh, after it starts boiling that uh, the heat is there in the vessel. Look guys, the miniature has a separate gasket. This is the cutest thing in the world. My mother is explaining all the sensible stuff, and I'm fawning over how adorable this little miniature is. It even has a separate gasket. <laughs> oh my god! I think like we more or less covered everything, right? Yeah. 
Oh, another thing, it's uh, the pressure cookers are of different sizes, so you should make sure that you don't overload the amount that you are cooking according to the size of the pressure cooker. So first. you would say like two third maximum. Yes. Uh, because there needs to be place for like all the steam and all also that builds up. So if this, like you cannot fill this whole thing up with food, like you would fill it around here maximum. Because not only does the food expand with being cooked, but as I said, steam, right? Yeah. Uh, steam has to have a space to remain in the vessel. I feel like for our family, for most dishes, actually the three liters is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom's been using a five liter. Um, there's no harm in using that. Of course, then maybe you're using a little extra gas. Yes. Yeah, so three liters good. But in case she was cooking for guests, if we had people coming over, she wanted to make a large quantity of food, then five liters is the best. Do you have okay. anything else to uh, say? In case, oh, this is a pressure cooker with the lid opening from inside. Uh, I think Prestige as a brand only had uh, the pressure cooker with an outer lid. So the gasket was like underneath, underneath yeah, yeah, on the outside. And the lid also was outside. It used to clamp, like you open it. This is... Yeah, the gasket is like up and the lid goes in. But for that, uh, the lid is outside and so the gasket's to, under that. So you had to do it this way and lock it. Yeah, uh, so I don't think you ever used those, right? No. Okay. Because my mom always told me that uh, mostly like people were either a prestige uh, pressure cooker one or a Hawkins pressure cooker and you use whatever you're comfortable with, then you wouldn't switch to the other brand because the system's completely different. Another little anecdote to add about my school thing. When I gave this pressure cooker to my teacher and the other classes teachers, I guess they were all prestige users because they could not figure out how to shut this. And I'll admit, it actually made me feel very good because I was like, I am seven years old and I can shut this toy, but the teachers couldn't shut it. It's just because they were using the other type of pressure cooker, like the prestige kind of pressure cooker with the gasket in a different place, the lid in a different place. So maybe that's easier to seal or something. I don't think so. It's just, just a habit you are with. My mother always had a Hawkins pressure cooker, so I was used to this. <laughs> so yeah. That's all for our pressure cooker talk. Feel free if you have any questions, you guys, um, that we haven't covered, please leave a comment below. I will not answer them because I am useless, but my mother will answer them. Sure. <laughs> I feel like I want to buy like uh, five more miniatures like this. They are, they are very cheap, you guys. I got them from Amazon. 200 rupees. 180. 180. 180. That's super affordable. And I do what? And give them to kids. That's what you didn't let me complete. Like give them to kids because that's if their parents are really wanting the kids to learn that's true because now a lot of people have cooks and i guess there's no harm with that but i feel like all boys and girls should know to cook and i'm one to talk because i i don't know to cook like i know to cook some things but i don't know to cook a lot of things but i'm taking some interest i've seen like some of my friends also who are just moving out of house for the first time and their mummies always cook for them so now they're learning i guess it's never too late to learn uh, you should always be able to feed yourself though if you live in a, a city mostly there are a lot of other options you can get tiffins uh, you can get like restaurant Take food out. yeah anything um you can get a cook uh, but I just like feeding yourself is nice. I don't manage to cook every day. My mom does and most moms do. They're superheroes. If I was like living on my own, I wouldn't cook every day. But I enjoy making an occasion out of it and whipping up something fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today's vlog, you guys. Bye. 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 I thought you'd wave bye with the pressure cooker. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. See you guys next time.